Welcome everybody, my name's Seth Dirtis. This is 93 Drive. Today, we're driving a 2021 BMW 340i with a three liter turbocharged and also hooked up to a 48 volt engine producing 382 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque. And it'll get from zero to 60 in just 3.8 seconds and it'll cross the quarter mile in just 12.5, 115 miles an hour. Same thing, also got about 17 square footage in the trunk so you can carry a lot of things. And it's also made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. This one does only have two, two wheel drive, but it was available in all wheel drive version as well. A big thank you to Volkswagen and Mazda Horseman here in Rockville for letting us come out and take a look at this car. All their information is on the links right down below, especially the link on this car itself. So with all that being said, Let's see what this M340i has to offer. We got a dog watching the show. Let's go. Here we go, driving the 2021 BMW M340. Guess we should put it in drive. All right, let's go. I do have to say, it does have a nice little sound note on the exhaust, and the numbers are pretty, pretty healthy. Like from a 3.0 turbocharged, and obviously we get that Volt, 48 volt engine that I mentioned earlier, producing 382 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque. I mean, that is all BMW M3 territory. So I'm curious to see exactly how this car is gonna handle in regards to stability and you know, how quick it's really, I mean, it's one thing to just throw numbers out there and have it a piece of paper, but in reality, what does it really drive like in the real world? So let's see, and uh, like I said, take a first spin, and then we'll do our, uh, we'll do a little standstill, see how she does from a, from a start. And then of course, we'll do our final thoughts just right off the bat right now, I can tell you the steering just feels actually fantastic. Uh, we'll have to see how much feedback it does, but just the turn in and the weight is absolutely amazing. So let's head down a little farther down. We'll find another nice road to go on and then uh, we'll do a little drive and then we'll come back and do our final thoughts. So let's head out there. All right, here we go. We find a little twisty road. Let's see how she handled. So far, so good. It's pretty peppy. The seats are pretty comfortable. They do have some bolsterings, but it's not too bad. Uh, obviously, if you're a little bit bigger than this guy right here, it'd be a tight squeeze, but other than that, and it feels, it feels pretty solid. There's good feedback coming back from the steering wheel. You know, like I mentioned earlier, it does have that little note on the exhaust, but it's not, it's not intrusive, it's not coming into the cabin. But I'm sure on full throttle you'd get a nice sound from it. But it feels just perfectly just, it feels like a really good, truly good uh, mid-size sports sedan, that's for sure. Um, I think the one that I would have to compare would be the Mercedes C43 AMG. That one is a slight hint faster. There, and now you can hear that exhaust right from the beginning, right there from the start. Yeah, not bad. I mean, just perfect paved road and runs, it runs just perfectly well. Let's go try to see if we find out with Twisty and then uh, maybe do a little standstill and then head back and do our final thoughts. I have to say, it's still, I'm still pretty, pretty amazed. It feels really, really good, really solid. Like you keep mentioning, it soaks up the bumps just perfectly well. The suspension's not beating me up. It seems to be well calibrated. When I head up here to the highway, 
I want to do a little stint, get her up, up, up higher speed, if we can see how she handles there. But other than that, Perfect Whale has a 12.3 screen up front with the tech, the speedometer, and your regular gauges. And there is a 10.5 entertainment system, typical BMW. We'll head down here, get head to the highway, get a little gas. Take it uh, north. There's a nice little loop here when you get into this uh, ramp. We'll let the Highlander get up a little bit farther off from us. Yeah, so far, yeah, it just it grips on perfectly well. Obviously, we have somebody who doesn't know what to, what they're doing. It's always a Toyota for some reason. I don't know that. I don't know why. But we'll give it a gas, go around them in a minute. Hop on the highway. All right, give it a gas. There, you can hear that sound of that exhaust. Sounds perfect. And just cruising speeds, it is absolutely solid. There's a little bit of wind noise coming. I think it's from mirrors, but other than that, a little bit of a tread, but you know, just cruising speed, you can just drop the hammer and it just wants to pick up and go. Yeah, perfect. We'll head down the highway, we'll turn around and then do our final thoughts. But so far, it's pretty, pretty impressive. I've got the navigation system as well on the screen right up front. This one does not have the uh, heads up display on. All right, let's head back and do final thoughts. All right, we're gonna head back in the highway, but before that, let's give it a little gas. And it's quick. I'm not sure about that 3.8 seconds to 60 and a roll start right there. I, I think we might've been somewhere in, in the lines of maybe four and a half. Uh, 3.8 would have to be and uh, tires would have to be extremely sticky, hot day like today on a track, and I think you'd be able to get that 3.8. I have a friend of mine who's got one of these and who has souped it up, and he's running 0 to 60 in three seconds with just a few mods, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, so it's possible that, you know, we're just, I'm increasing the boost a little bit in the turbo, you'll get to you much quicker like what he's done, so. This would be a perfect car for that. But since we're on the highway, let's give it more gas. And hear that exhaust note. Yeah, not bad at all. So here are my final thoughts with the M340i. It is an extremely compelling package. It, it truly is. This one, especially this one with only rear-wheel drive, if you want to be able to get the tail out, this is a perfect candidate for that. But if you live here in Washington DC or somewhere farther or north, you'd want that all-wheel drive system. And probably the all-wheel drive system will probably handle a tad bit better on the turns because it'll keep you flat more than with the rear wheel be coming out. Space-wise, it's perfectly just perfect space. Uh, yes, obviously these cars have grown, the 3 Series has grown, and this is just perfect if you don't want to go bonkers and get an M3 or an M4. Because at that point, you're talking about serious money. We're talking about $75,000 plus to get us onto that. And to be honest with you, with just minor mods, you'll be able to get be able to get quicker than your average M3, M4. So space-wise, it's perfectly fine. Like I just mentioned, seven, seven uh, square footage in the trunk. That's plenty of thick stuff. Seats in the back are perfectly fine. They'll be fine for you know mid-sized adult. I wouldn't say. Anybody is 6'5", that would be a tight squeeze, even in this car. Layout is perfect. The instrument is perfectly laid out. You can configure it any way you want. Obviously, it's the same thing with the knob. Being regular traditional BMW, you get the traditional knob infotainment system. Um, so, overall, it works pretty, pretty well. So, with that being said, I highly do recommend it. A huge thanks again to Volkswagen and Mazda 
of Rockville Horsemen. They have been more than gracious to open the door and let us come out and take a look at this car. All their information is in the links right down below. And I hope that everybody's having a fantastic day. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, share, thumbs up if you like this video, comments, comments always do help. That way it gives me an idea where you guys want the channel to go. And if you have not turned on that notification bell on, ding! What are you waiting for? That way you know when the next video is coming up. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Until then.